up for sale, 1966 Ford F100. I'm going to walk around it, tell you about the truck, fire it up, and then drive it. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you. Like I said, 66 F100, factory V8, 352, four speed, original South Dakota truck. And you see the South Dakota license plate down there on the front with Mount Rushmore. I think that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, you know, as always, go around it tell you everything about it and as much as I know about it, point everything out, then we'll fire it up and then drive it. Uh, so we'll start here in the front, of course. Your trim and your chrome here, probably original to the truck. And, you know, there's a little bit of wear on it. Still looks very nice. A couple marks in some spots. I think that plate's awesome. Let's go up here to the trim now. Uh, nice fitment of the hood all the way around to the fenders as well as like top of the tr uh, truck there Same thing on this guy. I like two-tone. It's a little a little orangier red than normal with an off-white like a Wimbledon white Which again fantastic look uh, it has its original 352 in it with a two barrel. It's a brand new correct two barrel carb. I have the original carburetor that's included Let me see here couple little you know miscellaneous marks on the front um but let's show you the top of the hood here very very nice let's go ahead and open it up oh there's a secondary where are you at? 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 Where, are you at? Where the hell are you at? <laughs> oh, here we go. 352. You see the new carburetor on it, like just, just new, new. Again, I have the original one included. A little thing I noticed. There's a tag in there. I think that's uh, pretty interesting to see still with the car. Very solid uh, factory exhaust manifolds on it. You got the horns there. Um, 352 is down on the block there. It's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, underhood. Solid, original. Uh, so let's keep going. Let's keep going here. I'll show you that. That looks pretty nice. A couple little miscellaneous marks right there. So the uh, previous owner owned it for 11 years. And I believe, I, well I know, well it came from Florida. And I know it was in Florida previous to the owner of, that I just got it from. Uh, that was 2002, and I was told that it came from South Dakota originally. Boom, a couple little miscellaneous marks there, a couple on the edge, a couple marks right there. It was a contractor's vehicle, fun fact. See a couple little miscellaneous things there. Vintag is in place, and that's definitely original because all the colors worn off. They added a little like pocket in here. You put stuff in there. That's kind of funny. I mean, actually, it's convenient considering where else do you put anything in here? Um, Very, very solid all the way around. Under doors, original and rust free. Bench seat, awesome, matches the exterior. 
almost perfectly. Seat belts, uh, your rubber floor mat. It's also a, uh, I didn't mention it, twin I-beam F100. So the front suspension is that twin I-beam. You see it in the undercarriage pictures I have, custom cab. Twin I-beam looks pretty cool underneath. I'm not a Ford guy too much. So definitely something uh, different than I normally see. Hop in. Factory four speed. Nicely painted dash as well, matches the rest of the car. This is all very nice condition as well. Steering wheel's nice. It also has a headliner, which matches the interior. And is nicely done with matching visors. You got your original bed in here. A little bit of patina, but solid all the way around. Spare tire. Um, look at the uh, the outers of the bed. It's not dented. I know a lot of times you see big dents on the outside, and that's common with, with, with pickup trucks that were used. I mean, that's why you bought a pickup truck, but there's no dents. I'll try and post a couple of pictures because the inners of the bed is like just beautiful metal beautiful metal like like amazing uh, again pictures of any that could fit on the end there's a couple little marks there um, little baby guy right there uh the truck has, in addition to being very straight, all original metal. Uh, so, the, of course, the bed's original. Original. Fenders are original. Um, doors are obviously original. Um, so, you here you got your, like, work-style bumper in the back. Like, finish in, like, a flat white, which looks pretty cool. See, oh, you see a couple little marks up here. Again, probably from putting things in and out over the years. Couple marks right there. I guess a couple more chips. This is probably where the most usage is in the back, you know, opening and closing it. This piece of trim here, very nice condition all the way down. Dual exhaust as well. I didn't mention that. Oh man, they're getting numb. A couple little chips right there. Little mark right there. And if you've noticed, um, there have been no bubbles on the truck. Nope. Couple little marks, a little touch up right there. A little mark. seen going around the truck is there's just a couple they're not I don't even say they're bubbles just a little, couple little like zits right in the cab corner and a few other you know miscellaneous marks on the door edge going up I like that the truck is, well, I kicked the snow off because I want to show you the top of the cab. I like that the truck is very original and, uh, you know, drivetrain, engine train, suspension, stuff like that. A lot of times, and you know, people are doing it, modern drivetrains in them, changing them, lowering them. I don't want to say ruining them, but I'm a very original kind of a guy when it comes to these cars. So this is definitely, you know, I, I can appreciate this truck. your little pouch. <laughs> Let's show you down there. No, no rot in the under doors.
will be up for sale later today on my website, nextgenclassiccars.com and eBay. Both links will be in the description of this video. If you want to check it out, let us know. 66 Ford F100. And look how easy. I know you noticed that, how easy that door shut. Like a dream. I know a lot of times, square body Chevys, you got to to close it. Anyway, just something I noticed right there. Um... 352, little tiny baby baby chip right there. Uh, four speed. Matching number 352 again. Kind of the worst part is it looks like they must have done something and like the paint cracked off right there in that lower. Um, but not anywhere else. So, uh, we are going to fire it up, though, and then drive it. Thank you.